I just woke up, it's like 7 a.m. and I make myself some coffee and I just got a blanket because it's really cold in my apartment. But today I'm gonna go thrift shopping. I'm really excited because I have been thrift shopping in the past couple of weeks, but not like a full dedicated day to go thrifting. And some of my favorite thrift stores are a little more far away. So I really wanted to take today and focus on thrifting only. I have quite a few bundle orders open if you're new here, I have a little styling business, it's called Across the Universe and basically what I do is I pick vintage style bundles for you so you kind of tell me what you like and I will pick an outfit for you or two or whatever like you order and that's the main reason why I want to go thrifting but I'm also kind of redoing my apartment right now I'm still looking for some finishing pieces If you've been on my channel for a while, you might have noticed that the kitchen used to be this really ugly white kitchen so two weeks ago I kind of took the whole thing apart and put these like dark wooden foils on and also the golden little knobs and I really like how it is looking now but I'm still in the process of redoing some different spaces in my apartment and I will definitely do a tour once I'm finished but yeah that's basically what I'm gonna do today so I'm gonna go to the bathroom now I already have an idea of what I want to wear today so I think I'm gonna do a makeup look that'll go really well with that and then when I'm done I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing and I'm good to go so let's start with the makeup <laughs> This is the finished makeup that I did, it's just a really classic 60s cut crease and some eyeliner and I didn't draw on any twiggy lashes and I'm not gonna do my hair and that is because it is raining, it is pouring outside and if I'll do twiggy lashes they usually kind of run off and the same with any sort of hairstyle so we're just gonna go with the all natural hair today. So this is what I decided to wear today, it's just this really nice little pretty mini dress that I got. It is probably from the late 60s, I love the puff sleeves and because there's like a lot of brown and orange in it, I really wanted to play into those colors so I went with a musty dark orange turtleneck, some light brown tights and some brown little boots. I love these boots, I wear them all the time, they're so comfortable. So I honestly think they're perfect for a day of thrifting and walking. So this is the purse that I'm bringing. I got this on eBay a couple of years ago and I remember the seller telling me that she had got it in the 70s. And then for my earrings, I decided to go with these really cute little Beatles guitar pick earrings I had for years and years. I love them, they're one of my favorite earrings. So yeah, this is the finished look. I'm gonna pack up my things and get to the cards and head to the thrift stores now. I almost forgot to show you this, but this is the coat that I'm wearing. It just kind of buttons like this. It's a really classic 60s coat. It is made from sheepskin, so it is really, really warm and cozy, and I think it is perfect for a cold, rainy day. I gotta bring my glasses because I can't drive without them. A measuring tape, of course, and this is the book where I write down all of the orders from everyone. So 
I just arrived at the first thrift store. Don't mind these marks here for my glasses because I need them for driving. And I'm about to go in. They also have a great homework section and I'm looking for some pieces as said earlier. So let's have a look. So I got in here and it is freezing so I have to go back to the car and get a coat. But now I'm in like the homework section and I'm looking for a thermos for my coffee at home. Like a big thermos I can keep all of the coffee in so that it stays hot. Because I basically reheat coffee 8 times a day. I just want this thermos. It says made in West Germany which means it is definitely a little older. I bet it is probably from the like 60s. By the way, it looks and I really like it. And it is also only three bucks, so I might get this one. I also found this one, which is also made in West Germany, so it's definitely from the 60s or 70s. And what I was thinking is that I could take my coffee with me in this, because I don't really have a thermos for on the go. So maybe today is all about buying thermoses. So I found this little thing that opens up and I think it's great for like a little medicine cabinet. And then someone definitely hand painted this. That's really cool. I just don't need it. I honestly cannot believe I found this. I always see them all over Pinterest and they're really really expensive on Etsy. And this one is in really really good condition. And I think it'll not be that expensive here. So probably gonna get this little container too. So I asked the nice lady at the counter to put these things on hold for me and now I'm gonna go upstairs because I actually saw that they're having 50% off all their winter coats. So I hope I'll find some cool things. Let's see. So I just went into the kids section because I saw a pattern peeking through and I loved it so much. And it is actually one of these like things that you get on your first day of school. I don't know if it's like a worldwide thing or a German thing, but in Germany you get these things filled for your first day of school. And I'm sure this is like someone's from the 60s or 70s. The colors are so cool and it's wrapped in fabric and it says my first day of school. And I just wanted to share it with you because it is such a special yeah. find. So everything in this little thing is only two bucks, all of the shoes. And I just found these and they're like folded and they have this really cool pattern up here. I love the suede leather. I have to try these on. They're exactly my size. I just found these and I'm so shocked. These are so gorgeous. They're embroidered. I love them so much. And they are my size and they're only 10 bucks. I need to try these on. These are so, so gorgeous and wonderful. They remind me so much of Stevie Nicks and oh, I just love embroidered pieces and this one is just truly really beautiful. Also, I just found these really funky sandals, but they're not my size and they're not the size of anyone I'm styling right now. I think they're really interesting and cool. I just found this jacket and I think it would be great for like a runaways look or something but I'm not selling anyone with that look right now and it's not really my thing but I just needed to share it. I think it's a really cool piece. I'm sitting on the floor right now because I think one of the most overlooked categories in thrift stores are definitely tights. I always go through them, you will find a lot of tights from the 60s and 70s, so let's go through this selection together. So at this point it was so loud in the store that I decided to add a voiceover, but basically I was just showing you all of these incredible tights that I found. Most of them are actually from the 60s and 70s and I definitely put them with pretty much every bundle. I feel like they tie the look together perfectly, whether you're going for a mod look or like a rocker look or even for like a backstage babe look. These are always great and you can find a lot of great dead stock tights and usually they're really really inexpensive. So I was just looking through those and kind of showing you the ones that I really loved and some of the really cool covers. I really love this like 60s and 70s style of packaging with the beautiful models on the front of the pictures 
and yeah these colorful ones I find all the time and then there's these ones with the naked girl in the front which I definitely see in every other thrift stores but I love them I pretty much always kept them and you guys really seem to like them so next up I went into the dressing room and at this point I had found some really cool things especially this curtain which has like really cool golden beads dangling on and it reminds me so much of performance and I had to take this with me to add to my apartment and yeah there were so many things but this dress was probably the best find of the day it's this gorgeous 60s mini dress I love the color and the collar it is by Vera Mont Paris which is a really really nice brand and I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna keep it or sell it but it's just so so beautiful I had to take it these are one of the pairs of boots that were only two bucks and they fit me perfectly and I'm still thinking about maybe painting them leave a comment below if you would do it and then I tried on these really cool boots, which as I said are my dream boots. They fit me absolutely perfectly. I love them so, so much. I've worn them on several occasions and they're really, really comfortable. So I found these really cool colorful nylon pieces and they're for making these beautiful little flowers which was actually really popular in the 60s and 70s but I do not have the patience to make these. However, I really admire them, they're just beautiful. I feel like someone definitely left their entire collection or their grandma's collection and gifted it to the store. I just loaded the car and this is everything I got so far. Honestly, it's going really good today. Luckily, it stopped raining, but it's still pretty cold and windy. But you might remember that I went to the store that I'm going to in a recent video. It's been a while, but <laughs> um, it was a really creepy store. I was in the dressing room, it was really creepy in there, but they had some good stuff. So we're gonna be brave again, go in there again, and have a look around. It was so, so loud, but basically all I found was this thing filled with recipe cards from the early 70s were meat based or fish based so I didn't want to get it but I really wanted to show it to you because it was such a funny find so I didn't find anything in there and my anxiety started kicking in because it was just really really loud and I don't know it was just a little creepy as said so I decided to go. It's funny to me because a couple of years ago I would have pushed myself to stay in there just to complete like the work and now I'm at a place where myself where I can kind of take care of myself a little better and I'm working on it and that's good. So now I'm gonna get into the car and drive to the next thrift store. I just arrived at the next thrift store I'm about to go in. I'm not wearing a jacket and it's really cold but Look at this, this really cool camper is parked right in front of it. I pretty much just walked in and I already have two jackets. So this store is kind of divided into two sections. There's the one section where you pay by the pound. And then there's the other section where you pay just like by regular price. And then they have this one pile that's called the black box and it has really cool pieces that we usually go in the price section and I just found these two for away so I'm gonna check if they work with the bundles gonna take the measurements and everything but so far I'm pretty positive so usually I start in the pound area but I just went to the black box because I kind of had the feeling that they had new 60s and 70s clothes in their price area and they do so let's explore them together so the first thing that I found in the 60s pile that is definitely new is this and I love the pattern and the little scarf but I don't like the cut so this is gonna stay here this one also is new and it is so cute I love the print it's so dreamy let's just check this is 30 euros and I kind of don't feel like paying that much especially because I paid less than 50 euros at that other store for the entire cart this coat reminds me so much of Patty Boyd I feel like she had a very similar one and it is really cute like the accented white collar but this one is 55 euros which i think is really really pricey i know that a lot of people buy things but i personally just like to dig for the really good deals i honestly just want to show you that wearing vintage clothes can be affordable if you put in the work okay i'm not kidding this is probably one of the best pieces of clothing i ever found look at this it's so gorgeous 
it is 25 euros, which is okay, but I'm not too sure. I'm gonna be honest. I'm kind of not sure about it. So I honestly don't know how to feel about this dress because it is beautiful and I love the sleeves, they're really dreamy. But I'm way too short for it and I'm currently not standing anyone who's like really tall, so this doesn't work either. I also must have recently added this dress, which is really, really cute. However, it's 25 euros, which I also think is a little pricey. But I just quickly wanted to take this opportunity to talk about what happens when you find nothing. So a lot of people always ask me, like, what if you go into a thrift store and you spend half an hour there and you don't find anything? I don't care. I think what people sometimes don't get is that I'm not in this for buying clothes. I'm also in this for looking at clothes. I just love fashion. It is one of my hobbies, it's one of the things I love to do. So honestly, even if I'm just looking through all of these pieces and nothing works for me, I still kind of had a museum. It still feels like I had a day at the museum looking at a lot of great historic clothes. I just took the measurements on this dress and then this jacket and the skirt. These two go in a bundle. This one I might keep, might put in a bundle. But I'm gonna pay for these now and then get going again. So I just paid for all of my things and I'm leaving the building now. It's always so good when you can take off the mask. Honestly, breathing with these thick masks is so hard, but they're mandatory now. So yeah, gotta go with these. I mean, it's important to stay safe and I get it, but sometimes it's just really hard to breathe. So I'm heading back to the car now and then I'm gonna go to another store where I have been before, but I think I never took you. So. Let's go there together. I just arrived and I'm standing in front of the store and they actually have this really big kind of thing filled with clothes in the front and everything in here is one euro. So I'm gonna have a look through it. Maybe I can find some really cool pieces. So I just paid for those things and brought them to the car and now I'm in the homeware section and this is like all the glasses that they have and someone is trying the piano which is really nice because there is no music playing or anything and um, yeah I'm just gonna have a look around maybe I find some things that I need or one that'll just look nice in my apartment so I found this in the kitchen aisle and my father had this exact thing when I was growing up and he had it for my grandma basically it's like a little coffee grinder and I'm thinking about getting it. It's 12 euros so which is a little expensive but the colors match perfectly with my kitchen and as you saw earlier in the video usually I do it by hand but like when you get up at 5 a.m. that tends to be a little early and I love the color of this so I just have to think through if I'm actually going to use it. So while the clothing section outside was pretty good for like a one euro thing, the clothing section inside is pretty underwhelming. I haven't found anything, but I wanted to show you this dress. This is for sure someone's wedding dress from the 60s. It's really, really cute. And I love this pattern, but the cut is just a little weird, so I'm not gonna get it. But the pattern and the fabric and the colors are immaculate. So I am now done at that thrift store and I actually ended up buying this. So basically what happened was I carried it around the store because I like to do that with things I'm not 100% sure about. So to just kind of take them with me and see how it feels. And all of a sudden I had this crystal clear memory in my mind of the sound that this thing made and me sitting in my dad's kitchen when I was really young. And it just brought back so many memories and I love the color. It fits my kitchen perfectly. So I went ahead and bought it. So it is already 4.30 now and I'm gonna drive home now and bring all of these things up to my apartment. And then maybe today or tomorrow, I'm gonna show you everything that I got. I truly found some really, really incredible finds, not only for bundles, but also for me and my apartment. And I really wanna share them with you. So I just got home and as you can see in the background, it's pretty much dark outside. It's already 6 p.m. So I am really, really tired at this point, but I'm going to show you everything that I got today. I'm not going to try on the pieces I got for myself, but I do pretty much monthly try on thrift hauls. So you will see everything that I got in the last month or like the last six weeks, something like that. So in the next thrift try on video, you'll definitely see me wearing these pieces. Let's start with what I think might be the best find of today. It is this incredible dress. It's like a 60s cocktail dress. It's very 
very vibrant green color. I love the detailing. I love when dresses have colors like this. I think it is so dreamy, so unique. And it was a really popular style during that time. The label is also really, really beautiful. So I'm gonna try this on later or probably tomorrow. And then I'm just gonna decide if I'll keep it or maybe I'll put it in a bundle. Speaking of bundles, I got a whole bunch of these tights. I got white ones and like nude colored ones and some purple ones. During the 60s and 70s, a lot of people wore tights on the daily, so it's always fun to add them. Also for a bundle, I picked up this really cool leather jacket. It has these really cool like detailing around all of the hems, and I think it's a really, really cool look. It also has two pockets. It's made from real leather, you can hear it while I move it. And it's a little stiff, so it definitely needs to be worn in, but it just works perfectly with the bundle that I was going for. Speaking of that bundle, I also got this really beautiful skirt. I honestly love the pattern. It's such a gorgeous and unique design and I think and it actually matches a lot of styles that she had pinned so I really hope she's gonna love this one. I actually got really lucky with that particular bundle because I also found this gorgeous little blouse and the sleeves are honestly so so dreamy and pretty. I love the little detailing and like the contrast of the white and the black. She mentioned that she likes a lot of flared and flowy looks and a lot of flared sleeves, so I figured this is just perfect for her. So as I said earlier, the first thrift store I went to had this like $2 boot sale and I actually picked up two pairs of boots. I got this one, which has a really cool folded detail. It's such a classic look. I think it's great for like a 70s bundle and I will definitely give these away. And I really hope the person receiving these will love them. For myself, I got these black ones. I have black boots, pretty similar to them, but the entire heel kind of fell off. And the cobbler said that he wasn't really able to fix them. So I picked these up and I'm thinking about maybe painting on them. I kind of want to do that, but I also just kind of want to keep them like this because they're just a really cool classic look. I also like that they're a little rounded at the top, but still kind of have that classic 60s square shape. I fell in love with these next boots the minute that I saw them. They honestly are just the perfect boots for me. I'm speaking of these incredible like light beige velvet boots and then they're embroidered and they honestly look so beautiful. This is such a unique look. They were 10 euros but I still think it's an incredible deal for boots in this condition. Let's move on with something very funky. I got this really cool thing that you put over your door and then it kind of dangles down like this. It'll obviously be a lot thicker and like more spaced out when I hang it. And I honestly cannot wait to install this in my apartment because it reminds me a lot of Anita Pellenberg and Mick Jagger and the movie performance that they did. And I honestly just love little crystal details and little knickknacks in the apartment. So since I'm redoing parts of my apartment, I'm also cleaning a lot and finding new spaces for things. And I realized that on my desk, there's always this pile of loose paper and letters that I have to answer and things I have to work on. And I really hated that I didn't have anywhere to put them. So I got this. This was two euros and I got it in the record section because it is made for storing your records. Maybe one day I'll travel with them. I can put them in here. It even like has the little thing where you can put the numbers and everything so you find them easier. But I'm just gonna put this on my desk. But I'm just gonna put this on my desk and store all of the loose paper in it. I honestly cannot believe that I found this next piece because this exact plastic container has been on my Pinterest board for years now and I always looked out for it and all of these containers were so extremely expensive I just never could afford them and I found it today and they actually sold it for one euro. It is such a gorgeous little plastic box and I think it is so cool. Love the floral pattern. It's just such a unique piece. It was really funny because for a while I kept looking for these pretty much everywhere and then I stopped a while ago and now I just came across it. So I'm just really really glad that I found this. I found this really cool cute little shoehorn and it is so handy to just keep on the go. I love the pattern of this little thing. It is to store all of your sewing supplies and it actually has this like little thing to put inside but you can also take it out so I don't really know which way I'm gonna use it but I do a lot of rework on clothes and just fixing things so this will come in handy to just store my things. Speaking of storing things I also got this cute little wooden cabinet thing you just open it like this and I am gonna use this as a medicine cabinet because all of like my 
pills and medicine is just kind of flying around my bathroom so it's good to have this I guess I cannot wait to install the next thing I got these really cute little like glass beads they're like all on individual strings and I want to put them on my windows I love how they kind of I love the sound that they make and they just look so magical and wonderful and kind of iridescent and I really really like that kind of magical look I could imagine this hanging in Jimmy Page's house in the 70s so I'm really happy that I picked it up I feel like I intended to get a lot of clothes today and ended up getting a lot of homeware but that's okay too so you might have seen this in the opening sequence of this video but I have a lot of yellow and light brown glassware and I actually found a vase to go with it I love the kind of structured bottom and then just how it goes up it is so beautiful i'm probably just gonna put flowers in here this was 350 which i think is a really good deal and there's honestly not a lot to say about it i just really love everything that's glass and yellow or light brown so i'm just gonna show you all of the homeware now and then finish this up with even more incredible clothing so as i said earlier i drink a lot of coffee and my coffee gets cold really quickly so i was on the lookout for a thermos and i didn't only find one but two of them. They both say made in West Germany. And judging by the design, I'm gonna estimate that they're from like the late 60s or early 70s. I got this one for at home, just to put all the coffee in that I don't drink immediately in the morning so that it stays hot over the day and I don't have to reheat it all the time. And then I got this one for on the go. I love the little cup that it comes with. I think it is so cute and I honestly love the color. It's such a beautiful like eggshell yellow. And um, yeah, they're also really, really clean inside. I cannot wait to have some coffee on the go with this. So I've been getting into cooking lately. I have been struggling with an eating disorder for quite a while now and it is really hard for me to eat sometimes. I struggle with anorexia and bulimia and I just try to make cooking as easy as possible for myself and so I decided to make my own cookbook and just like kind of put all of the recipes in that are really quick and really easy and that I really like and enjoy to eat. And I was looking for a book to put all of that in and then in the recipe section as well I came across this and I love the stripes. It is so so cute It was only 50 cents and it doesn't have pages But like these little plastic slides and you just put your pages in but I think that's really cool I'm just gonna cut out pieces of paper like this and then write the recipes down take my own pictures and have my own little book it's honestly probably mostly gonna be soups because I love to eat soups but I also really enjoy making risotto with like white wine or something so these recipes definitely are gonna go in here so let's get to all the other clothing pieces I got I got these really cool PJ pants I love the pattern and I'm actually gonna gift them to someone really special in my life I honestly think they look so so cool and they're really really soft and nice they even have a little button in the front and they're honestly so so cute and they were only like one or two euros next up i got some knee-high socks which i might keep for myself but i also might put in a bundle i love these so much they're so cute i was looking for white knee socks like these for such a long time so i might probably keep them I just love the pattern. They're so cute and dreamy and they just work perfectly for a 60s look. And it's been getting warmer here. I hope spring is around the corner and I will no longer have to wear big coats and like really warm outfits and just can go out with knee socks. Speaking of summer, I found this really, really dreamy little blouse. This is actually part of like a German traditional clothing set but I kind of just want to wear it as a top. I think it is so cute. It reminds me a lot of Bridget Bardot and also Jane Fonda. And I just love the sleeves and the little embroidery. I think this will be perfect for the summer. I found some really cool silk scarves. You guys always ask me for silk scarves in your bundles and I will give them to you when I find them. So I found this really cute one, which is just red, white, and pink. And then a dark blue polka dotted one with like some paisley printing down at the ends. I also got this blouse for a bundle. It's kind of like silky and then it has this really cool mesh detailing and the zigzag also has kind of the same thing going on in the bag. And I feel like this will go really well with the outfit that I'm planning. So you probably know that I mostly wear mini skirts and mini dresses, but I actually really like longer skirts. I just think they sometimes don't suit me that much, but I found this 
suede leather one it's a wrap skirt it is so beautiful i can't wait to style this and just go out in it it's such a gorgeous piece and i'm really glad that i got it i also love things that you can tie so you can kind of adjust them to make them fit you a little better and i'm really happy with this this was also only just like this was also just one or two bucks so a great deal okay it might be a little dark to really see this ah oh, it's picking up the camera's picking it up so this is a really cool like velvet dress jacket thing but i think i'm gonna wear it as a little mini dress i think it is so beautiful with the golden buttons and just a really really unique piece so i have four things left that i got at that last store and one of them i actually forgot in the cart and i'm just too tired to go down and pick it up right now but it was a yellow blouse with kind of imperial sleeve they were tight down here and then just kind of flared out up here and it's a really really cool and unique look i cannot wait to style it i might potentially give it away in a bundle i'm thinking about a very special bundle i might want to add this to but i have to take the measurements and then figure it out however in this one euro bin i picked up two more things that i really love the first one and this is actually the first thing that i found in that little bin is so so cute and i honestly think someone made this themselves like this is a handmade little short sleeved sweater i love the little flowers it is so so cute and dreamy i honestly cannot wait to wear this it's also like a little longer and a little big on me so this will be perfect to like style with some shorts for the summer this last dress is like the dress of my dreams it is definitely from the 60s it has the cutest little like flower detailing and then kind of a more structured part right here it's just short sleeved and then it's pretty long which i don't really like to be honest so i might shorten this but it is such a dreamy cute dress that i cannot wait to wear because the fabric is really really soft and really light so i think this will be perfect for the summer and last but not least i already showed you this i picked it up it's the coffee grinder i cannot wait to grind my coffee in this i am so so glad that i picked it up if you look inside it is in prime condition and honestly this will just bring back all the memories and i'm really really excited for it i also bought a tripod at one of the thrift stores for five bucks which was really cool because it was like made from heavy metal but i must have forgotten it there the way that it works there is you kind of give your cart to them and then they will just take everything out and put everything in again like while they check you out and i'm pretty sure that i paid those five bucks for the tripod but it wasn't in the car and i didn't realize until i got home 20 minutes away from home and i might be brave and <laughs> call them tomorrow morning and see if i can still pick it up like next week or sometime that would be the ideal scenario because right now i only have like a really tiny tripod and when i put my big filming camera on top of it it always is kind of a little lopsided and i am really really afraid that one day it'll just fall down and just shatter my camera and my camera is a little sentimental to me because i got it when i was like 15 or 16 and i've used it ever since it's, it's a great camera and i don't want to change it so that's why i got the tripod and i really hope that i can figure something out with it so yeah that's it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did i would love you to give it a thumbs up and maybe even share it with a friend it would mean the absolute world if you would comment down below which pieces you like the most and also and also some of your recent thrift finds i love to read about them i love to see them if you ever have any cool finds or you take a picture you really want me to see make sure to tag me i'm gonna have my username right here i have the same username on youtube instagram and tiktok just tag me and i will comment and tell you how beautiful you look i would love to see you in your amazing outfits and all the wonderful things you guys thrift if you're interested in all things 60s and 70s, like the makeup, the fashion, the pop culture, the people, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single week all about that and I would love to have you around. I hope you have a wonderful day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine, take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today and I will catch you in the next one. Bye everyone!